Remember that time I was in the Oval Office? Just kidding, this is a replica of the Oval Office that's at the Jimmy Carter Library and Museum in Atlanta, Georgia. Shortly after taking office as president, Jimmy Carter expressed interest in building a presidential library someplace in Georgia. He settled on Atlanta. Construction commenced on October 2, 1984, and was open to the public on Carter's 62nd birthday on October 1, 1986. When you first arrive and pay the $12 entrance fee, you can look around in the store. There are some cool items to look at and also buy. It's also a good place to kill some time if you want to watch the short film about President Carter's life, which was really interesting. Let's head into the museum now. The Library and Museum is run by the National Archives and Records Administration and part of the Presidential Library System of Federal Government. Inside this building it is 27 million pages of Jimmy Carter's White House material, papers of administration associates, including documents, memoranda, correspondence, and so much more. There's also half a million photographs, hundreds of hours of film, audio, and videotape. Make sure to take some time so that you can mosey through and learn about President Carter's life. The Library and Museum also hosts special exhibits such as Carter's Nobel Peace Prize, and a full-scale replica of the Oval Office as it was during the Carter administration, including a reproduction of the Resolute Desk. This was the point where a security guard told me I could not use my tripod as a selfie stick. Are you going to be a kind person? By far, the Oval Office was my favorite exhibit. It kind of made me feel presidential. There's still more to see after the Oval Office, so pace yourself. Just think about how many documents may be stored here. We were also lucky enough to see the Georgia Film Exhibit where they had props and memorabilia from different shows that were shot in Georgia. If you're ever in Atlanta, the Hoffmeyers definitely recommend visiting the Jimmy Carter Library and Museum. Oh, I documented that. <laughs>